Leo. Welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, I decided to bring back the spirit messages. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I did them the last part of last year into the new year. Then I discontinued them for a while. And if you did go over to my community page and participated in my polls, thank you. And this was one of the readings that was in one of the options uh, to bring back. So, and it got the most votes. So I'll be doing love general spirit messages, singles readings for those who are singles, uh, love reading and probably the bonus readings and sometime down the road in the future. Um, I'll probably start doing extendeds on Vimeo also. So just a little information there. So welcome Leo. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe during this time. So, Leo, we're going to pull three oracle cards from each deck, and then I'll clarify each one with uh, probably one tarot card or maybe two to give a little more meaning. And then at the end, I do have these uh, prayer cards. I got them actually at the Dollar Tree, um, and I got two packs, and they're different. I mixed them together. So you could call them prayers, affirmations, whatever you like to call them, and I will pull you one of those as sort of like a message from spirit. They are sort of... Um, have a religious uh, connotation to them. So um, if you don't like that part, then I guess you can uh, choose not to receive that prayer. So that's totally up to you. So let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, male or female. This could also be, I want to say past, present, or future, but these are messages what you need to know right now. So it could be advice, guidance, confirmation, however it resonates with you. And... Um, I guess just take what resonates. All right, so let's get some messages from Spirit for you, Leo, at this time. If you're interested in all the decks I'm using, they are below in the description box, as well as the first pin top comment. Decks I'm using, links to purchase them, uh, social media links. If you'd like to reach out for personal reading, that info is also below. Uh, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below also. Uh, oh, I got three exactly what I wanted so thank you and if you're not comfortable using PayPal for an energy exchange if you choose to do that during the premiere only uh, super chat is open that is another way to uh, tip or donate if you choose to exchange energy and if you do thank you so let's see what we have here we have join in well kind of hard to do right now with everybody in isolation but <laughs> we'll see where that goes we have healthcare change and hobbies so maybe now is a time to pick up you know if you are isolated you can't get out um time to maybe reconnect with hobbies maybe you haven't done a long haven't done in a long time pick up some new hobbies try new things it could also be doing things as uh, a group but like on social media so you don't necessarily have to be together it could be some sort of creative groups or something like that through social media and just tell you to join in. So maybe join in some uh, social groups and things like that. Of course, I would have to be online. Healthcare change. So maybe some of you need to pay more attention to your, um, your diet, your exercise. Um, also, if you, you know, this, that's going, you know, that virus is going around right now. It's very, very bad for those who smoke so maybe that is also a message for some to maybe health care change you know if you've been thinking about quitting some sort of bad habit or something like that may and now may be the time all right so for leo let's get more messages for you leo what else for you leo spirit messages for leo at this time Thank you so much. Three messages for Leo. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, those three. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. We have be positive. Your thoughts can shape your experience. Be sure, so be sure to focus on the positive. And it could be maybe some uh, positive. Uh, groups, you know, uh, uplifting, uplifting groups, things like that. Um, can't think of the word uh, I want to say, but 
you know, maybe just to give each other support. Enlightenment. And we have first step. Breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easy to take the first step. And definitely a first step healthcare change. I'm getting some of you may need to take that first step into changing or ending or solving a bad habit problem or something like that. That obviously has to do with your health in some way, uh, shape, or form, hobbies. And now we have smile, sunflower. Simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. So I think by starting new hobbies, engaging in hobbies you haven't in a long time, it's going to make you smile again, bring healing energy to you, make you happy again. So I have like three different messages here. Or some of you uh, that have been kind of in a negative mind space or not really feeling too optimistic right now. Uh, I think maybe time to get, you know, in, more into that energy of smiling and trying to be happy. You know, watch some comedy, watch some silly movies, you know, or something like that. Because we have be positive and smile. So some of you maybe need to take that first step to get into a more, um, wrong deck more positive mind space, especially, you know, if you're isolated and alone, if you don't have a family, you may be getting lonely, depressed. So, you know, by joining in maybe social groups or some kind of groups like that, <coughs> and even, you know, right now online or something like that could be, you know, a big, big help to kind of, uh, get out of like a little bit of a loneliness some of you may be in all right so let's get three more messages for you leo well, i'm feeling these three right here were just sticking out so all right what do we have for you leo we have tsunami wake up call we have dawn new beginnings and we have ceremony invocation. So this invocation here could be the start of something new. Um, I kind of get the energy of like manifesting or, you know, putting, you know, setting it in stone that you're starting something new and kind of like, um, Can't really explain it but it's like you you know invocation is kind of reminds me of like um like when you know kids first go to college and um you know they have the ceremonies and things like that so i just feel like I just feel like it, like you're you're you, like you set it in stone. You made your schedule, or this is telling you to do that. You know, make a schedule, set it in stone. You know, say this is what I intend to do, even if it's to yourself. And uh, moving forward in some way here, because there is some sort of new beginning here, or this could just say you know there will be a new dawn, there will be a new beginning. And once we get past this phase that we're going through right now. I think the world is just going through a big wake up call here, but this could be a, something here is it could be a big wake up call to you. It could be an epiphany, aha moment, a realization, a tower moment, something that really wakes you up. It could be, like I said, the whole situation going on right now. So, all right. And you know, if you have been in like a negative mind space or feeling lonely, depressed, um, maybe, you know, you just come to a realization and get that wake up call. Okay. I need to change my patterns, my habits, my behavior, the way I'm thinking or feeling. Otherwise I'm just going to sink lower and lower and lower. And that's maybe for some of you, not where you want to be. So, you know, joining could be support groups, um, would have to be, I guess right now all online since, you know, a lot of, most of us are isolated right now. There's a lot of social groups. Facebook, um, websites, YouTube, there's plenty of uh, different things. So, all right, so let's get some clarification on this. I do ask Leo if you like my style, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. 
feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Like I said, you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. So join in. What is that about for Leo, please? Just join in. So we have the three of wands. So this is a, a energy of patiently waiting for your ships to come in. It's an energy of waiting. So you could, you know, maybe before this all happened, maybe you didn't really join in in a lot of things. Maybe you just worked, you know, you had your friends, your family, or whatever. Maybe you just worked, went home, or whatever here. Maybe you just didn't join in to a lot of uh, extracurricular activities or, you know, things like that. So, and again, it's like that energy of just sitting back and watching. But this is telling you to join in. So however that means for you, if you weren't too social before or you didn't really participate, you know, now may be a good time to, you know, because really, you know, just online, you're not really there in person. You're just kind of, kind of can hide behind the computer, but it's one way to join in something. So... All right, so what is this healthcare change for Leo? Eight of Swords. So this is being bound and stuck and trapped. So for some of you, could be trapped inside an addiction, obsession, or something like that. I'm getting some of you, you know, you're, you're just stuck in an energy of some sort of... Um, addiction or something like that for some of you or old patterns the way you think feel or maybe some of you you know just feeling like you're stuck at home you can't really um, if you have a regular like routine exercise routine or something like that if you went to the gym every day or whatever here and now you can't do that so now you're, you feel like you're stuck. It's like, well, what do I do now? So now's the time to, you know, kind of get out of your head about that and think of, be creative. Think of, you know, other things to do. Going outside, going for a walk, uh, jogging, um, you know, making up your own exercise routine in the park or, well, as long as there's nobody else around or, you know, in your yard or, you know, watching, you know, tapes or videos or Whatever here, you know, there's enough other ways to be creative. Um, so some of you may feel stuck. Like, well, the only way you know I know how to work out is like at the gym. But there's other things you can do. So, so a lot of different messages there. So take, if any, uh, what resonates for you. But something needs to change that you feel stuck in some way. So hobbies here. So we have the Five of Swords. So, I don't know, I'm, maybe, and I know there's a swords, but I've just had images of like a needle and thread. So maybe some of, some of you sew or quilt or do anything like that or embroidery or whatever here or crafting of some kind in that manner. Maybe it's time to get back into those hobbies. Um, the five of swords energy though, is kind of like getting ahead at all costs and you don't care how you do it, but you know, that wouldn't make sense to me anyway for hobbies, but I'm getting more, um, cause those just look like, I don't know, they look like needles, even though they're swords. So if some of you <coughs> had hobbies or whatever here to get back into, into your hobbies, that's what it's saying here. So what does this be positive? The magician. So manifesting a brand new beginning here. So I feel like a new way of thinking, a uh, new way of thinking, doing, seeing, feeling, everything here. And manifesting like a whole new energy and just focusing on the positive and not the negative kind of energy. All right. So you have the power to manifest what it is you want. All right, so what is this first step about for Leo? The Ace of Swords, so here's the clarity. Here's the truth, the clarity, uh, victorious new beginning. Taking the first step into a victorious 
whatever you, you decide to do here to take that first step to do, you will be successful, victorious. You'll have truth, clarity. This is also the sword that can cut away things no longer serving you. So it's, if it is an addiction, obsession, habit, that habit, or something like that, or it could be anything, this sword, you could cut that away. So this is the sword, you know, of that, that energy. Also standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, not taking any BS. Aha moment, epiphany. As I have said here with Tsunami. So if you take this first step here, I see it successful as long as you continue. <laughs> All right. So what is this smile for, for Leo justice? So something's going to bring balance into your life. Something's going to bring you truth, clarity, uh, balance, getting justice or serving justice. However, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily in the justice field or something, you know, in the justice system, but you know, it could be communication coming in or something here that will balance out having clarity over, a per, you know, could be over a person, place or thing, whatever it is here that will make you happy, make you smile. So that's a good energy. So what is this wake up call? What's this tsunami for, for Leo? Queen of cups. So, I mean, the queen of cups, king or queen doesn't matter. It's usually a very loving, nurturing, caring, giving kind of person, love emotions, intuitive kind of energy. I'm getting like a calm and peaceful energy, but then all of a sudden, boom, a tsunami comes in. It's like a big wake up call. Like you may be like in a kind of in a peaceful state, like dreamy state. And all of a sudden there's some sort of wake up call. But what is this wake up call for Leo? It could be about love. It could be someone now king or queen coming forward with their cup of love. And it's sort of like a shock, a surprise. Wake up call doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It could be a shock, a surprise, epiphany. The world. So <laughs> you may uh, have somebody here that may say, okay, I closed out a cycle. Now I'm ready to start a new cycle in love with you. And it's like, what? And it could be just a surprise to you, Leo. What this is, if it's not love, it's just close. You know, you could get a wake up call and realize, okay, I need to close out something no longer serving me so I can just move on. And that then being a very, in a very peaceful energy. All right, so what is new beginnings? And then you would have this new beginning. So if you close out a cycle with the world, then a new beginning always follows. And here's your new beginning with Dawn. So what is that about for Leah? <laughs> Ace of Cups, love and emotions overflowing. Self-love, spiritual love, or a brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. So it could be here that there's a wake-up call where somebody comes in and says, or you, or them, or whatever. I closed out a cycle in my life. I'm ready to start new. Expressing their love or showing their love. And here's the love right here. And the brand new beginning in love. And here's the new beginning. Wow. So, okay. So, so and then we have ceremony. Some of you may be getting married. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Leo. What is the ceremony about for Leo, please? ceremony about for Leo. Well, we have temperance here. So this is balance, peace, harmony, balance, healing energy. Um, this temperance angel usually brings in something divinely guided that is meant for you. I see luck and expansion here with the rainbow. Patient energy. So, so I think spirits telling you to be patient. Some sort of it doesn't necessarily have to be a ceremony, but it could be something here. Um, <clears throat> where it's like, it's like the, here's the new beginning and here is like something finally happening and moving forward and a recognition and, you know, pa peace and balance and harmony in a situation moving forward. So, and that's a major thing because it's, it's a major arcana. So however that resonates for you, it could be in love. It could be friends, family. It could be anything here. 
but there will be peace and harmony, balance, needing patience in this, whatever is to come here. Could be just a celebration coming also. Oh, let's see what's on the bottom. So we have death. So this is, again, letting something end that needs to end. And it could be a habit, like I said, a habit, uh, obsession, um, addiction, or person, place, or thing. No longer serving, just letting it end and going by, you know, the wayside. And then healing and transforming from that. And then you always have a new beginning also with that energy. So however that resonates for you. So let's get a prayer card for you. So I feel like here with the tsunami and the wake up call, you know, knowing something needs to end here. And so is the world, the ending cycles. But then you have a brand new beginning and here's the love or, you know, like I said, self-love, spiritual love or brand, actual brand new beginning in love. Queen of Cups here could be somebody, king or queen coming in with their cup of love. And if you've been patient, you know, here comes the peace, harmony, and balance, something divinely guided for you. Could be a celebration or invocation of finally, you know, two people coming together in some way. Wow. Okay, so a lot of different messages, Leo. So take them how they resonate for you. So let's get a closing prayer, affirmation, however you like to call it for you. For Leo, prayer, affirmation. Oh, I'm feeling this one already. Oh, this is just crazy because I just got this one for Sagittarius. And temperance here is Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but... Do justly, justly, love mercy, walk humbly. And again, and I think Sagittarius got justice too in the same spot here. And you have justice here too. And walk humbly, you know, finally in that king or queen cups of energy and with the ace of cups and with the temperance and love mercy. And here's a brand, brand new beginning in love. Wow. All right, Leo, <laughs> those were your messages. Uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.